Although I have never thought of making a video like this, I have found that these individuals make me so mad that I will be making a video about it. These people find it so much easier to garner attention by throwing trans women and the LGBT community as a whole under the bus for some reason. I'm so fucking tired of this rhetoric from these people about if they pass they can get the heads on their side because they're, they're only on your side for now. Being grouped in with this whole alphabet mafia that is a cult at this point, the LGBT community is honestly one of the most embarrassing things I've had to deal with. I also love calling gay people a cult as if the people you're siding with aren't much more indicative of that. Han, have you seen those people? Like the supporters of like that stuff? That's crazy. And the fact that my boyfriend had to explain to them that I wasn't one of the blue haired extraterrestrials that have 50 pronouns and will throw a rock at a cop car just because they looked at me the wrong way. I hate telling people that I'm trans regardless of anything because I don't want to have to be grouped into the same mindset. This line so much to refer to people who don't look like you or hold different viewpoints than your own as an alien is wild. To insult the very groups that, that gave you the choice and opportunity to transition is mental because at the end of the day when your grift is over and they drop you like every other trans woman who has denounced the LGBT community, you will have nobody to fall back on besides that alphabet mafia you so hate. Also, if the people around you are making a blanket statement about yourself and the entire community as a whole, maybe it's just the people you're around. Like, maybe if those people are willing to think the worst of you before they even know you, then they're not the type of people you should be around. If someone assumed the worst of me because I'm pansexual and have short hair, and I don't want to be around that person who's automatically thinking the worst about me based on stereotypes that anti-LGBT folk have spread. Because anytime someone hears the word trans, immediately they don't think of women that look like me that just live their everyday lives who happen to be trans. They think about the people who make their whole personality being trans, who are crying on the internet because they were misgendered at work. They think of trans women as anything other than real women unless you're asking the wrong people who have a perceived notion due to propaganda that other individuals like them spew. Denouncing the LGBTQ community because you fell into the blue-haired meth addict ideology that these folks spread is wild. So they laughed. I remember the days when the LGBTQ community were so strong, so independent, they didn't let simple words get to them and now here we are where we're offended by everything. Now anytime like my boyfriend has to introduce me or whatever and tells them that I'm trans, he has to go through this whole circus show jumping through rings of fire to let them know that I am normal. It's not that they didn't let simple words get to them, it's that they had no choice but to get over it. It's not that they didn't let it get to them, they couldn't let it get to them because there was no feasible way to put a boundary in place at that time to prevent hate from being spread about them. Nowadays, people have the freedom to do that and will do that. I'm tired of this preconceived notion that putting a boundary in place is being offended. No, you can't call a trans man by his dead name and use she her pronouns for him. That person should have the right to put a boundary in place and that boundary Boundary is very small in the grand scheme of things and should be respected. Boundaries do not equal being offended. It's giving burning the pride flag then coming back crying because your grift ended up flopping because you're nothing but a tool for more propaganda to these folks. I think the reason LGBT people putting down other queer people makes me so angry is because much like feminism and women there is a link to why you have that choice. You have a choice to openly be gay because the LGBT community who you're calling blue extraterrestrials have fought for your right to do so. Without the LGBT community, you would not be able to talk about your transition. You wouldn't have had the choice to transition at all, actually. Just as how women who denounce feminism and brag about their choices are stupid because feminism allowed them to have those choices to begin with. The reason you can sit here and denounce other trans women and even the LGBT community as a whole is because they fought to give you that right. You wouldn't be here sitting on TikTok talking about being a trans woman if it wasn't for the extraterrestrial trans women before you. And I say extraterrestrial because that's what they were probably referred to as when they were fighting for your right to exist. The blue-haired extraterrestrials will probably be the people you run to once your grift is over. Many like you have done the same song and dance before and when they were no longer used by the very people putting into your head that they see you as equal and when you're no longer of use to those people they will no longer see you as an equal and 
and prove that they never really saw you as an equal. You're a pawn in their game. I can say as someone who grew up being a conservative and openly gay, they don't like us. They don't want us to exist. In their perfect world, we wouldn't be allowed to exist. There's no room for change in a bigot's mind, and if you think your little grift will cause a change, you're wrong. The people who have changed are on the very side you are denouncing. I also want to say that we don't even have to agree on everything. The LGBT community is so cool when it comes to an agree to disagree mentality. The only people who will harass you over disagreeing over something as small as alternative pronouns is a very small, very online group. I have been able to express not so popular opinions and not get harassed or having rocks thrown at me because we're adults and um, adults have differing opinions a lot actually. Being grouped in with this whole alphabet mafia that is a cult at this point, the LGBTQ community, is honestly one of the most embarrassing things I've had to deal with. It wasn't one of the blue-haired extraterrestrials that- You do not have to associate with us. And frankly, I don't think most of us want the company of someone who sells out so fast. Unfortunately, you will receive the validation that you so crave. They will pat you on the back, say, thank you for speaking your truth. Then in a quiet room, they will discuss about how you are the weird one. And as they sign the bills to take away your medication or your right to exist, like they did in Florida or in Alabama, you will realize that you are the blue-haired liberal. Because unfortunately, we are not the ones who have put you in the same group as us. They did. I think the reason this happens a lot more for trans women is more of a society thing. When you think about it, these women go from being respected by people because of what gender they were born as, and then when they transition to a woman and start to pass, that general respect fades away. Men are born more respected, while women have to earn that respect. This is something that I've seen a lot of trans men talk about, actually. Society doesn't take women seriously. We have to fight to exist and fight to get the bare minimum. These women are experiencing Experiencing that and it's genuinely just really kind of sad. I want to play a TikTok I found that speaks greatly on this issue and maybe it'll be a bit more eye-opening. Are probably being treated differently depending on whether you are a man or a woman. I know this because I'm a trans guy so I used to live my life as a woman before and here are five examples of situations where I experience male privilege now. People just listen to me now, especially in like group situations. I can walk into any meeting not even fully prepared and share an idea and everyone in the room completely listens. When I call my insurance or my doctor, people actually take their time and they listen to me and they give me a satisfying answer. Before I always felt like I had to put in so much effort so people would hear me and then some guy would just say the same thing but louder and get all the credit for it. One thing I noticed ever since I started passing as male is that people seem to find me a lot funnier now. Apparently the bar for jokes is just a lot lower for guys. Yes, I also feel like I'm more allowed to be my funny and goofy self now like it's just more socially acceptable in a way i feel like i also have this natural sense of authority now people trust me more and they respect me more and i can walk into a room they're like yep he knows what he's talking about in some situations i also feel like people do take me more seriously when i say something and before my knowledge of things was maybe questioned more often i work as a bartender and when i say something they actually listen to me and <laughs> obey but no one immediately challenges me questions me which is something that is super common as a female in the workforce. Definitely, if I was a woman making this video right now, I would get taken way less seriously. One time, a guest actually stopped one of my male colleagues like right in front of me and asked them the exact same question again. Like, what? Oh, uh, this is just so wrong on so many levels. I sometimes also get praised for things that are literally the bare minimum. If I'm being attentive, if I clean up after myself, if I'm planning out something, if I'm just being nice, people are so thankful all of a sudden. And then there's the obvious difference of not being harassed by men or just not being afraid of being harassed. However, at the end of the day, I think these women are just searching for the respect that they lost sometimes. To go from being listened to, having respect that is just given without having to prove you're worthy of it, and being taken seriously are all such big things to lose. While these trans women are being their true, authentic selves, they also deal with how cis women are treated just by existing as well. It's unfair and nobody should have to deal with losing something as large as basic respect, but that's how it is and it makes me feel just a little bit for these people. These ladies just might be searching for the respect they lost regardless of if that means grifting to an inherently toxic group of people. I want to say that this also doesn't excuse their behavior. This doesn't excuse throwing everyone under the bus because they lost their male privilege by transitioning to a woman. While society does play a huge role into why they might do this and feel this way, it doesn't excuse being cruel to those who are just trying to exist like yourself.
Anyways, if you're new here, I am Ren, I am a very opinionated autist, and I am sleepy so I will be leaving it here. Also subscribe and join my discord server, link is in the description.